Just kind of walk around. Headbang just like this. Because that's what he does. And then we're going to... We're going to get him up to max and we'll see what his stats are all about. Hey there folks, Maisie on reporting for duty and today we're playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Pooping Evolved Scorched Poop modded server. And today, oh, I'm eating, I'm eating. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm actually trying to make a bunch of metal. That's what I'm doing right now. I've got metal brewing up in here. Now, there have been some alterations to the Ark Comes Alive mod, and it looks like not all of them are really worked out yet. So, we've got all these blueprints that dropped inside of the ACA bench. They just kind of showed up here, including an Easter egg. And so, a whole, bunch, a whole bunch of crap in here. You've got alpha saddles and all kinds of stuff, and they're blueprints. You can move them back and forth through your inventories and whatnot. But... For some reason now, I cannot make any chiefs. So we picked up and put this thing back down like 3,000 times. We made a new one. We tried all kinds of different crap, and there's nothing you can do. So I wanted to do some stuff today, like make the new Ark Factory. The, the only factory you will ever need in your Ark again. So I'd love to see what that is, but I can't. Because I need three Matrix Cores, and to get three Matrix Cores, I need Chief Souls. And to get Chief Souls, I need to be able to make Chiefs, and I can't make Chiefs, so we cannot do that. But the last time we were playing on the server, we tamed up Pelgornis, which is the big blue dragon. And it's only level 377, and I do not know if, what the level range of all the Pelgornises on the server are, and I have not checked the damage yet. 140,000 to start. I haven't pumped anything, so that should be pretty ballerific. If I do this, I didn't really, I didn't really have a lot of levels. So we've got it up to 190,960. I do not know if any of my dinos right now has XP potions on them. I didn't really check. Uh, I see one. It's a tiny. What about you, new Giganotosaurus friend? Uh, there's one right there. It is a also it is also a tiny. And so what I thought we would do today is bring out Pelgornis and see what it's all about, but also tame up the Harmus and see what Harmus is all about. Harmus is the monkey, and there's also a brood mother. So we're gonna kinda look at all these things today. And use these two things right here. We're gonna get on here and just like that. We're gonna start flying around. We're gonna go find ourselves some Alphas to kill and whatnot. Alright, 24. 200. 200 2400 melee damage. Things land weird in this mod, man. Bam! 617,000 of that, which means that it really doesn't do very much to anything else. And it flies way up in the air, man. Like, way up in the air. Let's see if we... What happens when we try to burn... Oh, you made me an ice cube, weird cryo lady. Right, so they're dead. Both of those. So it's definitely powerful. I didn't look at the melee damage that it was doing. We got 4.7 million now? 4.7 million health. Where is... Look, it looks like it's dying. I think all of my... Health potions, if Pelgornis will land, are over on the. Come on! Are over on Godzilla. Hey, Godzilla. Do you have my. Yeah, you have my regeneration potions. Thank you, Godzilla. We'll put these up in here so we can do this. Make it all nice and healthy again. But I'm assuming that what's going to happen with this guy. Especially if we go out and we kill some actual formidable folks. This is not going to be as ballerific as the legendaries. But I don't know yet. We haven't tried to do anything with them. They obviously don't have a lot of, like, fire power. Their fire doesn't seem to be amazing. It does some damage for sure. It's killing this stuff pretty easily, I guess. And the sea... It's like, it's got two, two breath attacks, C and, uh, and, le and right click. I'm trying to see if one does more than the other. Well, they all, they both do the same amount of damage. Die, please! So anything that's in this mod actually offers a ton of damage. So you see all the stuff that's been hanging out here on the, uh, 
die. Hanging out here. It's all special. So we should be able to get a ton of levels out of it. Quite a good amount. But I guess not as good as killing Harmus or Pelgornis, which we should be able to find those two pretty easily now that we have Pelgornis. Oh, look! We've got Dotorexes again. Now, do they have names? Are they special? How special are they? I do more damage than they do, so that's a good start. Burn! Burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno, burn, baby, burn! Dotorex Inferno! Morgan, the power alpha. All right, so that's what that is. So here is a... You know, I kind of want to keep one of these Morgans around because I didn't find any the other day. Oh, man. I'm, in, I'm getting hurt. Fire to you both. Die. Die. All right, so they've both been defeated. So that was three of the, uh, the big bosses that are out here roaming the world. And we're going to kill one more real quick before we do any stat pumping. Die, Harmus! I'm guessing he renamed Harambe to Harmus because it was a little controversial. I'm not sure. All right. We got Alpha Hearts from killing it too, I guess. All right. So here. Now we should be able to get all kinds of things done. All right. And that's it. So it's 4.7 million health, 5,000 melee damage. Let's go attack something. Nom! Only 110,000 damage per bite. So that's not anything really too special. It's only got 4.7 million health. Huh, is its fire better? Your fire not so crappy anymore? Eh, not really. Not really anything special. So, now we just got to locate another Harmus or I can't remember the name of the, the name of the brood mother that we got going on there. But one of the, one of the dragons, um, not dragons, one of the monkeys or the brood mothers or the Dodorexes. And they are supposed to be hanging out in this area. Do I have uh, prime meat? I assume that I have plenty now. I do have lots and lots. Why are you... Oh, the torpor. Is it still going up? Oh, man. So sad. Poison eraser. It's still going to keep going up, but whatever. Where, oh, where are all the monkeys now, right? We just killed probably everything on the map. Is that a... Yeah, there's another Helgornis, which... I probably should just leave it there. I'll just leave it there for now. It's not really gonna do me any good to to get in a fight with it. We can use it to, uh, we can kill it to get experience. Come on! Where are all the, where are all the big bad dinos that I need? I was hoping we would just find one like super quick after we killed those, but nah! Doesn't look like it. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take a break here real quick. Find myself one of those other things to tame. We'll be right back. I've located Harmus. He's hanging out right here. What's up, Harmus? How are you doing, man? Are you you gonna be trouble? You are gonna be trouble, aren't you? Hi. Oh oh oh, Cardo, Cardo, Cardo. Are you still just sitting there, man? I've shot it twice. Shot it three times. Oh man. Am I using the wrong darts? Super Trank Rifle? No, we're using the right darts. Can we not tame Armus anymore? That should have been plenty. Is this a fake Armus? I mean, that's like... That's a lot of millions. That's a lot of million. Oh, it is unconscious. <laughs> Alright, well... Try that again. So apparently, um, Harmus does the moonwalk when he's unconscious. All right, we've got another Harmus. What's up, Harmus? How you doing, man? How you doing? Bam! Should be out. It is. It's out. Is the speed anky tagging it? 
It is not. It is not. We're good. Grab some meat. What's up, dude? How you doing? You're a big monkey. Bam! Hey, we've got a harmus. Maz. Harmus. Exclamation point. That's the difference between mine and someone else's. So we're going to leave this guy here, just like so. We're going to put him on... Uh, he's on passive already. Yeah, you can just hang out, man. Uh, me and, me and Harmus are going to do some crap now. You know, get it on. So, 731 melee damage. It's got 976,000 health to start. What do you got going on here? All right? It does like a little disco jump. And C on this guy is the same as the legendary, and then obviously the crappy, very low damage rock throw. Kill the stuff! I don't have XP potions for this guy this time. Not that you really need it. So we know that there's a Pelgornis in a couple of different places here. One being right down here. Now the legendary... There's one. The legendary Megapithecus doesn't really take fall damage. I didn't grab my my health potions. That was probably not very smart. So now we're going to go try to kill Pelgornis. Hey, what's up, Pelgornis? How you doing? Bam! Bam! I am way stronger than you. Already. Easily defeated. Oh, I just got a oh, moth. Stupid moth! Alright, cool. So Pelgornis is done. Bam! So we could probably get the health up. Alright, 5.7 million is probably good for now. Continue with the melee damage. Not max leveled. Not max leveled. Now we gotta go back up. We're gonna kill things on the way. But we gotta go back up and get to our health potions because there's no way for us to uh, heal up. Alright, here is a Dodic. Bam! 299 grand. So already, you know, pretty much more ballerific than Pelgornis. Better damage, more health. Uh, seems like a better, the better critter out of the two. It just, it just can't fly. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Bam! You dead. I say you dead. Where did I leave Pelgornis? Bam! Oh, I can get... Cactus sap and whatnot. And what is this, the weight on this guy? This guy's uh, 10,480 weight, so that's way better than Pelgornis. Get out! I'm away! Thank you! Get out of the way! Uh, so the, this whole, like, cactus and stuff being in the way without breaking like i can't knock it over unless i punch it and oh i can i can collect rocks Ooh, he's like the ultimate collector of uh cactus and rocks that's pretty awesome i guess i mean i don't really want cactus or rocks but hey if i do harmus is your man he's the guy where the crap is my dragon die my dragon's somewhere around here, man. I want to find my dragon. Okay. So we got him, uh, got him some health. So he's all, what the, dodicorous. Get out of the way! So it's definitely creating server lag whenever I hit any rocks in the area. So that's kind of, you know, if unless this dino is meant to be a gatherer, it's kind of annoying that, A, they can't walk and break these cactus. You have to, like punch them and then therefore get encumbered in order to to progress through the land and then b you just inadvertently are hitting rocks and lagging the server like what the crap i don't really want to do that so now again i am encumbered with rocks and sand look at all the sand why am i putting this stuff on my body that's not what i wanted to do at all look at all this sand man like i don't want that sand i want to kill things with harmess And there should be another Pelgornis in this direction. Go! Alphas and stuff! Bam! Yeah. All right, well, it died, but you know, it lagged. The server, again. 
Oh, hi. Hi. Die. Oh, because I hit rocks, right? So maybe Harmus isn't really meant to be an attack critter. So probably like based on what we're what we're seeing here, I would not have pumped any more health on it. I would have just left it what it was at. I would have maxed uh its weight and melee damage. Let me see how much it gets from a rock. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know how much better it is than a good doe dick on this server. Melee damage. We're really testing how effective they are as as attack critters against one another. And in this case, oh god. In this case, this is the most annoying thing ever. I would not attack with this guy ever. I would not bring him out to fight. He just sits here and collects crap. Like who wants to do that? I don't understand. Here, in fact, hopefully we can max its level with the rest of these potions here. Please max. We've got rocks and kinds of other crap we've got ascended saddles how about weight no not max yet crap so hopefully these last two kills here will do it all right so they were pretty much annihilated and then i i harvested meat which lagged the server um all right all right there we go and i've got stone <laughs> Stupid stone, man. No one wants stone or wood or thatch or cactus. No one, no one cares about that. It's just more weight. All right, so it's max at 24,313 weight, 14,000 melee damage, and 5.7 million health. And that's all that there is to say about that. We finally made it back to the Pelgornis. It took forever. And we've got... Bam! That guy right there, who's next on the list? His name's Morgan, I believe. So me and Morgan, we're gonna have a, we're gonna go out on a date. What's up, my date, Morgan? How you doing? Here. More, uh, Maz, 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 Morgan. This is my date, Morgan. Hey, Harmus, how you doing? How about you just hang out here on passive, uh, neutral, passive, and I'm gonna take. Your things there. Yep, just like that. And then we're gonna go. We're gonna hang out with Morgan. Me and Morgan, we're gonna go on a date. Come here. All right. All right. Let's go, Morgan. Let's see if Morgan is any better than the rest of these these guys. I mean, so we got so far. Pelgornis, low damage, can fly. Kill Alpha. And Pelgornis, low damage, can fly. Harmus collects all of the things around you, so don't use him to fight things. And then now we're going to play around with this dude. See what it's all about. Morgan. Oh, man. Die! Let's give it a bunch of melee damage. Okay. We got 14,646 melee damage. We've got some better melee damage going on now. All right, so that's pretty good. Pretty good so far. It looks pretty effective. It runs around pretty well. We've got a C attack. No C attack. Nothing like that. Right click is fire. Let's see how the fire does. We missed. Pretty good. So in comparison to Pelgornis, the fire of Morgan is way, way better. Nice. It doesn't collect things. It breaks rocks as it runs. So far, this is my favorite. And I believe what we got one more, the brood mother to get. So as we level this thing up here. What are we at here? We've got, well, we're nine, nine thousand. So already way better health wise. This guy is the beast is a beast. Morgan's great. Seems to be the best of all of them. And he jumps. Or floats, rather. We need to find... Where's the XP at? Here are the uh, cryo... Cryo goddess hanging out somewhere over there. There's an alpha. Hi, what's up, alpha? Yeah, it's completely wrecking things now. 
Very easy to level. Very easy to level. Hi. Bam. Just to eat all the things, Broodmother. Bam. Eat you. That's right. Fire! Oh, I wanted to fire, fire on the monkey. Why is the monkey running? They don't do that. That was pretty easy. That one's pretty easy. Come on. Oh, 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 here's the challenge. Here's the real challenge. Oh, man. Yeah, this is ballerific. We're definitely in better shape with this guy than with anything else so far. I think we're probably just gonna annihilate this. Yeah, Blackheart Godling, no match for Morgan. Morgan's elite. Bam! Oh, I got slowed. I got slowed. So let's get up to 10 million health-ish. So this is like the pre-legendary critter, it looks like. Or maybe even post. Maybe even post-legendary critter. It's pretty amazing. Bam. 10 million health. Am I heavy now? Am I heavy? No, not too heavy. Not too bad. It feels like it's going slower, though, so let's take off some of the meats. Oh, we're doing pretty good. What are you doing? Where, oh, where are the other... Are the critters? I'm hanging out here. I haven't seen one yet. That's how you get the real levels, don't you know? You kill, like, three or four of those guys, and then you're max. Kill three or four Morgans or Harmuses or... Any of these critters. Oh, there's another godling. Alpha. Alpha dead. Godling. Godling dead. Yep, this guy wrecks face. So, so far, this is my favorite of the three. Definitely the best. Simply the best. Bang, 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 bang. That's right. Also, the longest, it's taken the longest to level this one up because I can't find any Harmuses or Pulgornis. But definitely can just run through the land and destroy all the things. Bam, bam, bam. Face, beak, is that what we say? You know, with the Argentavis, we say Talon, Talon. I mean, this one, beak, beak. Still haven't seen a single. Mm, I think I'm gonna keep it at the 10 million health. I think that should be fine. Come on, Harmus, Pelgornis, Morgan. Where are the where are the rest of you? I'm ready to destroy you. There's a cryo goddess. That'll be helpful. Oh bye. I didn't even get a level from that. Am I max? I am not max. I'm not even close to max. It looks like we're gonna be able to make this guy pretty amazing. So what I'm gonna do real quick, since this is taking so long and we can't really find what we're looking for, and we still have the broodmother to do, is I'm gonna go ahead, just kinda walk around, headbang just like this, cause that's what he does. And then we're gonna, we're gonna get him up to max and we'll see what his stats are all about when we get there. Okay, so we got done with Morgan, and Morgan is pretty insane. What are you doing? Weird. Um, pretty insane. Like, it's really high level. So, I was actually checking into this, and so a lot of the times when you have critters like this in sort of in any mod pack or in, in uh, ARG in general, it's like a named critter. Usually it comes at a finite level. Like, all of the Pelgornas would be level 600 to start. Or all of the Morgans would be level 500 to start or something like that. That's not the way it is with these guys. These guys come in different level ranges. So that's why we have such a dichotomy between the damages. And we can't really make a comparison unless we had a level 600 Morgan, a level 600 Pelgornes, and a level 600 Harmus. But I can tell you one thing. I can tell you that this guy is pretty powerful. That Pelgornis can fly, and this guy cannot, so that gives Pelgornis a flying advantage. And then Harmus picks up all kinds of crap, and it sucks. So... He's a, he's a harvester. And uh, let me grab out, go out here real quick. We've got the 10 million health and 37,000 melee damage. And does about 930k per hit. So this guy's pretty baller. If it does a really great job, you definitely could use him to fight chiefs 
if you needed to and you, and you had a group um i wouldn't like i wouldn't wouldn't count on it but uh if you had a group you know i wouldn't solo things with it but we have a level 672 toxier i think it's called toxic toxicier or toxier up here i've only got one dart left so i gotta make a count but we're gonna tame the brood mother guy or girl guy it we're gonna tame it up and we're gonna try it out for the last thing so there it is right there we've got one hanging out now i don't really want to uh, kill that um, doe dickerses are mad i don't want that thing to to spit torpor at me or webs or anything i am wait what what happened what happened I didn't get to use it. Crap, I gotta go make a dart. BRB. I have darts. We're in a firestorm. Oh, is it attacking me already? All right, let's go. Let's go. Bam. Get down. No, you're not. Yes, you are. Ha ha. No, you're not. Yes, you are. Ha yay. <laughs> Unconscious. There you go. Now you're mine. Toxicir. Maz. Toxicir. Toxicir. Bam. So now we've got our Toxicir. It's a high level Toxicir. And uh, there's a scorpion under us. So it's dead. So now it's time to go around, see if we can find some stuff to kill a Toxicir who's pretty slow. Pretty slow. And this heat storm, kind of annoying. Everybody else is just kind of hanging out in their respective locations. I think there was a I think there was a spider I didn't kill a toxic here I didn't kill over in this direction so we're still hanging out over there and we can uh, give that a shot come here I think I would put some speed on these guys they're slow yeah super slow attack very slow there's a couple of alphas right here going to take a few hits where's toxic here die all right, so that one's dead. How about we disable victim item collection on you? I don't really care about anything right now. You know what I didn't do? Obviously, I did not grab my health potions. So once I pump pump anything, so it's got 1,660,000 health. Once we start pumping any of that. So what do you got? It can use the use that and we can use that. Oh man, we killed the water jug bug. So you've got uh, the venom spit, you've got the webs, you've got the regular attack, and where is the other toxic here? There was one right here. It was hanging out, getting ready to be dead. Oh, there it is. I found it. Go kill it. And so I'm interested to know if toxic here is good at knocking stuff out. That definitely hurt it a lot. Are you running away? Well, I beat the crap right out of it, that's for sure. Let's go see if we can knock something out with this thing. Wow, fall damage? No. Oh, is that a. You are a golem. You should die, please. Let's see if it'll take fall damage. The other ones don't really, so. Nope, this one does not either. What about you? Can I knock you out without killing you? No, of course not. How about a rhino? Knock out a rhino? Wait, wait, wait. Did that did that just go through the rhino? Alright, cool. So we hit it with all kinds of torporiness. See if it falls down. In the meantime. I can't hit it. I can't hit it with these. It might, it might uh, take torpor with just a re oh, it might have taken torpor with just a regular hit, but uh, I'm a little too powerful now. What do you got for weight? So we've got 861 and a 2196 weight, so it's weighty. is It's not very weighty. What about you, Alpha guy? I missed the Alpha guy. How about down here? Wow. Your aim's terrible. All right, we hit it a few times. 
Alpha guy's mad. Okay. Spit. Oh, I can't hit it with a spit now because it's too close. Oh, then again, you know, one hit. I am. It did. So I guess it's uh, I'm not really sure whether or not this would be effective in knocking things out for taming. But it does seem to be pretty ballerific in the I kick butt department. 5.6 million health. We've got 20,000 health, uh, 20,000 melee damage and watch it. Bam! 450k per hit. Not so bad so far. Hmm. Oh, that's a Pelgornis. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, knock out Pelgornis. Oh, no. Oh, Pelgornis is kicking the crap out of me. Ow. Ow. That hurts. That hurts. Don't die, Toxaseer. Don't die. Toxaseer's not dead yet. Not dead yet. Can I feed it meat? Can I feed it meat? Uh, it doesn't really help at all. Oh, man. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to get some uh, some health potions for this guy. And then we're going to go ahead and level him up the rest of the way so we can make an accurate comparison. We'll go out. We'll uh, see what his melee damage is at. Like I said, I don't know about knocking anything out with it. It doesn't really seem that effective. It is kind of slow. What if I jack? Let's jack up the movement speed a little bit. 187%. All right, so this is much better. All right, we're back with Toxaseer. Bam, 482 grand. Bam, 482 grand. Bam, blah, 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 blah. 21K per hit on those. Uh, still not sure whether or not you can knock dinos out with it, really. Uh, may still be a possibility of some sort. Come on, hit that, hit that thing. Oh man. Okay, we hit it once. Get knocked out! It didn't like the 21,000 that it took. But I guess maybe... It, it, I'm not sure how long it would take the Torpor to stack up anyway. But it's definitely got decent damage. We got it up to around 10 million health. It's got low weight. 2196 for these guys. It's not really very high. And so there's only one last thing that I wanted to do in testing with these particular dinos. Dinos is uh, I wanted to go and grab Pelgornis. Now, when I get hit by a Pelgornis, it does a percentage-based... Oh, hi. Yeah, just leave me alone. It does a percentage-based amount of damage. Um, so I'm wondering if when I use Pelgornis to hit something else, if it's doing the same thing. Where is Pelgornis? Where did you go? Pelgornis has disappeared. I put him up here somewhere. Did something come along and kill him? Why are you following me? Stop. Stop following me. I oh, there he is. Oh, Pelgornis. So I'm, uh, I'm going to hit a couple of different things and see if it has a variable amount of damage that it does. To see if we can do a percentage-based amount of damage to an enemy as well. But we need to find two enemies that are vastly different health levels. All right, so here is a Paraceratherium. 45-14 to the Paraceratherium. 272 to the Dodicarus. 406 to that Dodicarus. What about these two guys? 45-14 to that one. Hmm. So, it is pos a possibility. How much will I do to you? 45, 14. So it might be like 45, 14 max, and then at lower, lower health rates, it might do less, or Dodicarus might take less fire damage, or die. Thank you. 45, 14 to all these guys. I don't know, man. It doesn't look like it might... It doesn't really seem... I'd have to really do a big sample size, but it really doesn't seem like it is, is any better to, to those specific dinos that have more health. I don't know. Sweet. So we got to test everything. We got to test Pelgornis and Harmus and Morgan and Toxaseer. And so I think my favorite is the is Morgan. Morgan's my favorite for sure. 
I like the Dodo Rex. The Dodo Rex was my favorite one of the day. I had fun on it. It, it beats the crap out of things. Super duper good time. Which one was your favorite? If you guys liked today's episode, make sure you blast the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to Maze on Plays Games for more epic content. And as always, be excellent to each other. Have a great day. See you later.